Hi, thanks for tuning in. I am Cecilia Manella, and I hop on here every single week and share some mental health tips and tricks um, from internal counseling and wellness. So thanks for tuning in. Today is more talk about courage. So if you follow us, you'll know that the month of September is our dedication to the word courage. I want to talk about the courage to stop playing small. Now, um, it's this is more commonly a woman's issue, a female issue than it is for men, um, especially in our culture. Women are taught to um, be quiet, be small, to not be seen um, for fear of being labeled certain things or being called a bitch or aggressive or all these words that we use to describe and put down women. Now, what we do inevitably is we make ourselves small. We play really small. And one way that I really notice this in relationships is that women will typically be quiet. They won't really share their thoughts, feelings, and ideas, and dreams, and goals. But they'll also be overly accommodating to their partner. So they will self-sacrifice in order to maintain this relationship. And inevitably, they lose themselves over time. So you hear a lot about women talking about, I've lost myself after I have kids, after I got married, um, just in this relationship. I don't know who I am anymore. And that's really what that, the that's the language of playing small. That's the consequence of over-accommodation and losing yourself in this relationship and playing small for fear of being too big. Now, what does too big mean? I want you to think about this. What does this being too big in your life actually mean? I know in moments of my own life where I've played too big is where I've been told to stay in my own lane, where I've been told that I'm too outspoken, I'm too assertive, I'm too, I'm pushing too much, or my goals are way out of, out of line, that there's no way that I'm going to achieve them, or that I am too um, driven, I'm too ambitious. These are terms that are used, especially on women, when we step into this place of playing big. And inevitably what happens because of the way that we're socialized and how we grow up and the world we live in, we shrink back and become smaller because it feels like rejection. It feels like we're being pushed out of belonging, of part of the, of the crowd, of the group, of the community, and we want belonging. Inevitably, we all want belonging. We all need belonging. And so we play small in order to get belonging. Now we do this in careers. We do this in careers so much. Women don't typically talk about their accomplishments, their successes, all the accolades. We don't brag about our accomplishments very much because it's seen as too arrogant. We value humility a lot and we don't really sit in a place of how do we play bigger in our own lives. So this is a challenge for you to be courageous and let go of playing small and step into playing bigger. Trust me when I tell you that you're not going to be arrogant. You're not going to be a bitch. You are not going to be stepping outside of your lane because the movement that you'll see is going to feel extreme. It's going to feel like a big step, but in fact, it's just stepping into more of who you are. Ask yourself, in which way are you playing small? Am I playing small in my relationships? Am I playing small in friendships? Am I playing small at work, in my career, and the choices that I'm making? Am I playing small within my family? And why am I playing small in these, in these situations that I can identify? Ask yourself the why. And not in a critical a voice why that can be really condescending sometimes when we use that word, but more in a really curious way, in a gentle, loving, curious why. Why do I do this? And there's going to be an answer. So if your answer is, I don't know, I want you to just percolate on that a little bit, sit with it a little bit, and really ask yourself, why do I play small? Is it for love? Is it for connection? Is it for acceptance? What are the reasons why? And trust me when I tell you the reasons are going to be valid and they're going to be legitimate and they're going to serve a purpose. However, ask yourself then after that, what is the consequence to me? What is the price that I pay for playing small? What am I, what am I sacrificing of myself? What am I sacrificing about my heart and my soul and my desires and my wants and my dreams and my hopes for myself? What are you sacrificing to play small? 
And I know that that list is going to be really difficult. And I know that the answer is going to be really difficult to look at. But trust me, it's going to help you move into this place of playing a little bit bigger. Sitting in the place where you can really be proud of yourself and your accomplishments and your capacity and your skill set and not having to water them down to make someone else comfortable. You deserve to stand in the strength and have the courage to stand in who you are without having to moderate who you are to make another person comfortable. Because we play small to make another person comfortable. Because we think that our playing big, our accomplishments, our skills, our capacity is going to intimidate the other person or reject the other person, or it's going to be labeled as something negative by the other person. So look at yourself and ask yourself, you know, what do I need to do in order to start playing just a little bit bigger? Have the courage to do that. Hope you have a great day. See you next week.